Welcome back. This is Arcade Knight, and the small council have debated. They have held court and made their decision, but I must say it was somewhat divisive. So guys, we're going to discuss that, plus all the details. Also, I've sent Rainies and my King's Guard, Sir Dagon Dark Eagle, off on an important mission. And finally, guys, we're going to take the last Ironborn Castle. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage as we get ready to play A Clash of Kings, A Throne for Dragons. I know we've met once before, good sir, but I give you one last opportunity. If you just bend the knee to me, good sir, I will give you the Iron Islands. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I want to discuss with you something in private. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I I'm afraid not, good sir. I'm afraid not. Well, let let's talk to... Hmm... Let's talk to uh, your nephew, Theon, then. Theon, good sir. I give you this one opportunity. I give you this one opportunity. Well, let's talk in private. Oh, my goodness. You guys just won't listen. You guys just won't listen. We're going to build siege towers. King Darren has taken on the last Ironborn castle. Here at Black Tide, I've got the dragon's teeth firing away. Unfortunately, Rainies is not here. She's off on an important mission with Dagon Dark Eagle, guys. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. But I, I still have three Kingsguard with me. Sir James Lael, he's around. Also, don't forget Richard Lick and my Lord Commander, Sir Edric Royston. But guys, we're going to keep firing away. And once we're ready to assault the walls, we're going to cut right back. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to put all the Greyjoys in my Dungeons and Dragonstone. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. We're almost ready, we're almost ready. Archers are out of ammo. I'm going to send in the infantry. Keep the cavalry back. Kingsguard on me. Make sure my half maesters are holding back. I just want the infantry charging in right now. Come on, men. Go, 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 go. Go, go. All right, Kingsguard, we're going to go in right behind the infantry, but Knights, I want to make sure you're holding back, man. Holding back, holding back. Okay, here we go. Here we go, infantry. Let's go. All right, all right, Kingsguard. I got Sir Richard Lick, my Lord Commander, Sir Edric Royston, and Sir James Leo. So glad to see you, good sir, who has returned to the comments section. Much appreciated. And uh, you need to read the, f the, the final ballad. Ballad of King Baylor, which uh, Sir James Lyle's written in the episode in which my brother unfortunately passed away. So make sure you go back and check out that episode and uh, read the final entry by Sir James Lyle on the uh, Ballad of Baylor. It's it's actually quite touching indeed. But uh, enough of that. We need to get on to the siege. Um, it looks like the dragons. The Dragon's Claw doing a great job of taking out these last bit of Ironborn. But th the king is itching to get up there. Let the king through. It is quite an engagement up there. It seems like Theon Greyjoy has just fallen. I don't see Victorian anywhere. I would love to face him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait. Theon's still there. I, I take that back. He injured actually one of my men. So Theon is still in the battle, I believe. I would love to face Victorian in one-on-one -on -one combat. That would be glorious indeed. Um, but I've got my knights. I'm just going to go ahead and have my knights charge in behind me. Where's my king's guard? I can't quite find them. I don't know if they were so aggressive that they ran in in front of me trying to protect the king. The king is itching. The king is itching to get in there. In fact, I'm going to bring out Coldbringer. We're not even going to waste any time. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yep. Victorian Greyjoy is still around. Oh, where is he? Where is he? Oh, I want him bad. Oh, no! One of the Westerland Billmen took him out. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I wanted him, but that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're, we're still trying to make it up. We're still trying to make it up. Oh, so Jerry Redwater just went out as well. Well, you know what? On both sides, it seems like the heroes are going out early. But uh, guys, once we get up there closer to the front of the action, I'm going to cut right back. See you guys in a second. King's getting close to the front of the action. I've got a Kingsguard in front of me. I've got two Kingsguard behind me, so I think we're ready to go. 
Oh, come on. I'll, I'll go to the left. I think that's where the heaviest concentration of the men are, but it looks like we're... This can't be the last 39 of them. I haven't even really had a chance to swing Coldbringer not one time. That That is not fair, man. That is not fair. Let the king get some of this. All right, come on, man. Come on. Move up, move up. Unfortunate. Looks like we're going to get the stragglers. I get it. I get it. You saw one king die. You don't want to see another die, so you're not going to let him in. I'm at the very back now. They push me all the way to the back. Come on, man. Everyone, everyone charge in. Let's go ahead and take this out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The king is so anxious. Can we go to the right? Oh, I think we can get some action to the right. Kingsguard, follow me. Follow the king. Let's not be foolish. All right, let's get in front of all these men before they take it all from me. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no. No, no, no. All right, all right. What, what about down in the courtyard? Can I, can I beat you men there? Is there some men down in the courtyard? I, I bet they're not. I bet I went the wrong way. Titles Brax is really delivering. Yep, there he is. Damn it. They're all on the top. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you see this, King's Guard? They have left some. They've left some men for us. All right, I'll take this man running, running right here. Oh, I'll take him for sure. <laughs> oh, this is like sport. All right, all right. You go ahead and take that man. I'll take this man. He's not even looking. Hey, good sir. All right. All right, that seems to be it. Who else do we have? Any men hiding? Where are the rest of these men? Oh, there's some left on the top of that tower. I think my men are going to take them out. I think that's it, guys. I think this is the last of the Iron Islanders. Pretty awesome. Thank you, Kingsguard. Sir James Lowe's still around. Sir Richard Lick's still around. And um, all of my Kingsguard. Sir Edric Royston is also still around. So guys, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish these off, which we've already done. That's pretty awesome. <sighs> well, I think it's time for us to sail back to King's Landing and start talking about the decisions that the small council have made. So guys, once we make it back, I'm going to cut right back. I'm going to see you guys in a second. Ah, it feels good indeed to be back at King's Landing. Let's check out the court real quick before we talk about the small council decision. Oh, look, Sir Ronald Cunnington. G good sir. Good sir. Oh, really, you're leaving Rinley Baratheon. Oh, that's interesting because uh, that brings up uh, one of the details in the small council's decision, which we're going to have to talk about in a little bit. Uh, but good sir, I, I appreciate you coming to join me. And, and you have made a wise decision. And I'll tell you what, because of that... I think I will be able to give you back your ancestral home of Griffin's Roost. You're just going to have to have a little patience with me. But I would be honored to accept your pledge, good sir. And I think in the meantime, I'll give you a village just to hold you over. So I'm going to have to make a note here. Uh, sir Ronald Cunnington, he needs a village just to keep him happy for now. But, but guys, we need to talk about the decision that the small council has made. The members of my small council held a wonderful debate on akrealm.engine.com, which is, guys, the official Arcade Night community created by subscribers for subscribers. And I'm going to make sure my court herald, Sir Robin Redwater, uh, provides that thread so you guys can all check it out. So make sure you go to akrealm.engine.com to check out the full discussion that the small council held. But it was quite interesting. Uh, my war time... Hand of the King, Sir Jury Redwater, basically held sway, and most of the council agreed with his recommendations. But in a surprise twist, my master of ships, uh, Durgin Maraxos, sent a raven in at the last moment, and he had a bit of a conflicting strategy. Uh, so as a king, uh, you know, it, it is difficult. Sometimes you must consider all options, and you must try to please all the members of your council. And you know, I must admit... Uh, Durgin Maraxos had some interesting suggestions that, that kind of changed my mind at the last minute. So guys, we're going to talk about 
all the small council recommendations right now. So we had several plans that we laid out in the last episode. And guys, if you're curious about all the details, make sure you go ahead and check out the last episodes for all four plans in full details. Uh, but, but guys, let's talk about the plans that were the most contentious. And that one was the one dealing with the wall. So Jury Redwater was completely against, and most of the small council agreed with him, going up to the wall and starting the wildland invasion. Um, and basically, they feel that the king should be an honorable king, and, and unleashing the wildlings on the north could be bad for the king's honor. And to a large degree, I agree with that. But stepping out of our role play... Um, Dave, none of your business, or my master ships, uh, Durgin Maraxo, said that, hey, we wouldn't even realize that. We would not even know that by going up and helping the wall that we would release the wildlings. But you know what? I just feel that it, it's just not in our best interest right now to go north to the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and agree with Sir Jury Redwater and most of the small council that we're not going to go to the wall and we're not going to get Dark Sister up the wall either so unfortunately that's something we're not going to do just yet now the next part of the plan that had the biggest debate was the southern war plan now most felt that if we went ahead and we attacked the stormlands right now the reach would join the war against us now i'm not quite sure about that i'm not quite sure that they have um an agreement between themselves that if we go ahead and attack the stormlands would the reach really go and try to do that so I'm not quite sure. Darren is torn. He is considering, though, go ahead and attack in the Stormlands and just seeing what happens. If the Reach decides to attack us, so be it. We'll take out the Stormlands so quickly, probably attacking Golden Grove first, that the Reach won't even have time to react, especially since they're still at war down here at the south um, against Dorn. So that is a consideration. Definitely, I think Darren agrees with going with the Stormlands first. If the Reach decides to join the war, then so be it. We'll attack on two fronts. Uh, but more than likely, I think they'll buy their time. I think they'll wait, and then we can attack the Reach separately. Uh, so guys, let's talk about the final two pieces of the plan and what the small council decided upon. It seems that all the small council agrees on one thing. Uh, that Darren needs to get a Valerian Steel Sword for House Brightflame. And it doesn't seem like the North is the best option. Sir Jury Redwater made a wonderful debate against that option. So, here's what we're going to do. I have sent Rainey's Bright Flame along with Sir Dagon Dark Eagle over to Kohor. Now, I think Dagon is the perfect person to accompany my sister because he is quite familiar with all the mysterious things going on in Essos. And actually, he's from this small little village of Darkwash, not far from Kohor. And he has told me that he knows of a smith in this town that does know how to reforge valerian steel so hopefully very soon we could visit my sister and sir dagon and uh see what's going on all the way in cohort hopefully they can forge us a valerian steel sword but here's here's where i need your help guys if we're going to get this new valerian steel sword forge what are we going to name it you guys are going to let me know in the comment section. So, you give me your best suggestions for what we're going to name our new Valerian Steel Sword. And guys, if you give me the best option, I am going to definitely pick it and give you a shout out in an episode soon. Now, the final part of the plan, the Dragon Bride. I think all the small council agrees that after getting the new Valerian Steel Sword in Kohor, uh, that we should definitely find a bride, a queen for King Darren's to make sure that he can produce an heir and carry on the bright flame name and secure the kingdoms. Now, I must say there was a great debate between two great ladies in the kingdom. Uh, the first one was a high tower lady and uh, the high towers are from Old Town. So if we go to Old Town, we go to view notes. Uh, Sir Baylor High Tower is the, the Lord of Old Town. It's kind of interesting, Baylor. What a coincidence. Now, you see, he only has one brother, Sir Garth Hightower, who has um, no sisters, no daughters. So, basically, we're talking about um, the family of Sir Baylor Hightower. And he's got one daughter, this daughter right here, Denise Hightower. Now, she's not married. 
she is is available is she exactly darren's type probably not but he will listen to the wise counsel and um he's going to consider this now i must say my master of ships came in at the last moment and offered up another suggestion he agreed that the king should get married uh, but he thought that we should keep the blood pure and marry my sister Rainies. And guys, we held a straw poll in the small council and it was tied evenly between Rainies and a high tower lady. So guys, here's the question I have for you. In the comments section, let me know. Do you think King Darren should try to marry a high tower lady and try to form an alliance? Will, will that alliance even work? Or should he try to keep the Valerian blood pure? And should he be a true dragon and say, screw all of Westeros, we're going to do what dragons do. We're going to marry within our own family and keep the blood pure. And that's Mary Rainey's. So guys, you let me know in the comments section. I'm really curious. I imagine this is going to be one of the most um, divisive decisions that the king has ever had to make. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. We have made our way all the way to the far reaches of Essos. And I must say, Rhaenys is wary indeed. Uh, but, but good sir, do you see the man we search for? Do you see Sir Therese anywhere? I, I, I don't see the man you described. Uh, good patrons of the tavern, uh, do you see the man by the name of Sir Therese? Is he here? I am willing to pay handsomely for information to his whereabouts. Uh, you sir, you, you know where he is? He's, he's in the room to the left. All right, Sir Dagon, let, let's see. Ah, there you are, good sir. There you are. I have been looking for you. Yes, yes, I do. Indeed come looking for Valerian Steel. Uh, tell me more. The best craftsman in the city, uh, city is uh, Elos Mod. He's the master of the Guild of Blacksmith. I am definitely interested. I will definitely talk to him, good sir. Thank you very much. So, guys, let's head to that blacksmith shop right here. And see if we can talk to him. Ah, very good. Yes, yes, you're leader of the blacksmith of Kohor. Most gifted of all the craftsmen in the world. Uh, uh, thank you, good sir. Um, could you tell me more about Valerian Steel? Ah, the bait of my existence. Everyone wants to know about Valerian Steel. Why, I ask? When one could also learn about the tinted metals, armor strong enough to withstand the blow of a war hammer, or even the precious substance of alchemists called wildfire. But no, always Valerian steel, travelers and adventurers, princes and archons, they all come asking about the steel of Valeria. What would you have me tell you that no one does not already know? Valerian steel is precious. Uh, a drunk in the tavern could tell you that. Valerian steel is indestructible. The same drunk would tell you the same truth. Valerian steel is the rarest material in the world, worth lordships and fiefdoms. All the drunks in the world know this. Good sir, I am fully aware of Valerian steel. I come with many gold dragons to buy one of these blades. Ah, but you can apparently. You're the master of blacksmiths. You're able to reforge Valerian steel. But you can't make new Valerian steel. But you say time will soon tell. I remember the fate of Master Pole and do not inquire into your work or the work of your colleagues. Mysterious indeed, good sir, for the city watch will have me if I do, and the disciples of the Black Goat. I don't care about these matters, good sir. I just need to make sure you can reforge Valerian steel for me. Yes, you can. Any member of the guild can. However, we do not provide the steel. Even if we had such materials at hand, Tywin Lannister's already paid us good, solid gold to reserve it for him. Are you aware, sir, that he sits in the dungeons of Dragonstone? And King Darren sits on the Iron Throne? No, Rainey's Blackfire. I will gladly reforge a blade for you, but you will need to gather the materials yourself. We once forged a new blade for a Lysini nobleman. Truth, he called it. It was forged from four daggers of Valerian steel, and the cost was enough to outfit an entire fleet of ships. Gather enough daggers, and I will be able to forge a new blade of pure, indestructible Valerian steel worthy of a king, a prince, even a dragon lord. Oh, good sir. Very well indeed. I will do that. 
I'm, I would just want to check out a shop real quick before we leave. This is this is nice. I like your shop, my good man. I do like your shop. All right, we're gonna leave out of here. We're gonna check out the scroll and see if um, check out the mission, in fact, and see if we can find out what we need to do to to get these four daggers. So I'm gonna see you guys in a second. This mission has taken us all the way to Old Town. Uh, apparently, we need to visit the Citadel. We need to speak to the maesters in the Citadel because apparently they know the location of all the daggers we need to gather to bring back to this blacksmith and cohort so he can construct this Valerian steel blade for my brother. Uh, so let's make our way all the way to the Citadel, guys. Let's see if we can find this maester who's going to help us out. Ah, here we go. Good sir, welcome, welcome, traveler, to the Alchemist Bin, built in the shadows by a sinister cabal of sorcerers and magi. According to the small folk, it wasn't really, you know, the last high tower King Layman the Sea Lion built it. But, but how can I help you? Uh, good sir, I would like to buy some Valerian steel. Uh, truly, uh, why well, I have a huge pile just lying over here by the basket of apples. I sense, good sir, you're you're joking with me, right? Uh, I sense the sarcasm in your voice. <laughs> no, I don't have Valerian steel. Uh, we do have some, it's true, but it's locked away down in the vaults, and I doubt Marwin would part with the key. Uh, what would you need with it, anyhow? If you're considering becoming an acolyte, you could just earn it on your own, link in time. Uh, good sir, I believe you know I am a Rainy's Bright Flame. Princess of the Seven Kingdoms, my older brother is King Darren. He sits on the Iron Throne. I'm sure you know that. I just realized you are a Rainy's Bright Flame, and you don't care that much for being a maester. Um, this is the workshop where we do delicate work, and I really do have to get back to the forge. What can I do for you to make you leave? Well, my good sir, I, I need to find some Valerian steel. Fine, fine, take this list. Archmaester Molos compiled it a couple of years ago. God knows why. It was part of a larger treatise on daggers. But still, uh, say, do you have a plan to visit the blacksmiths of Kohor? Uh, Paul did once, uh, but I'll tell you, they are monsters. They reforge Valerian steel, it's true. But to do so, they practice blood magic. Blood sacrifice. Slaves and infant slaughter on the altar of the blood goat. I, I think you may be slightly overreacting on exactly what they do, but I think I, I thank you for your time, good sir. I thank you indeed for your time. Well, guys, I'm going to take a look at this list, and then we're going to go on a shopping spree, see if we can find these daggers, so we can construct a new Valerian steel blade for my older brother, King Darren. I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right, let's take a look at this scroll. So the scroll lists four different Valerian steel daggers owned by the following nobles. Ah, and I see one of them, the Triarch. He is now a vassal of my older brother, Darren, King of the Seven Kingdoms. Um, and I believe there are a couple of over in Essos. I think all the rest of them are over in Essos. Uh, so guys, we're going to do a little research. I'm going to find these various lords, and I'm going to go and buy, or try to take these Valerian steel daggers from them. And once we find the first person, I'm going to cut right back. See you guys in a second. I was just stopping off in Dragonstone. Dropping off a few new prisoners. I just recently got Theon Greyjoy and then uh, Lord Saltcliffe. Spend the rest of your days in my dungeon with Tywin Lannister. So guys, I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to sail all the way over to Old Town. And I'm going to see if I can start wooing the Lady Hightower. And uh, once I get there, guys, I'm going to cut right back. See you in a second. So my search for the Lord High Towers have taken me actually away from Old Town down to Dorne outside of Skyreach, and here is Sir Baylor High Tower himself. Uh, so let's talk to him. Ah, uh, yes, I am at your service, good sir. I would like to speak to you about something. I have something to ask you. Hmm. Um, I would like to possibly cement a lasting alliance with your house. Ah, yes. Would I be considered for a groom uh, for your daughter? Yes, young girls may easily be led astray. So out of sense of duty to the ladies of my household, I think it'd be if I better to get to know you a little bit better. May we speak of this at a later date? <sighs> Good sir. 
You are making this difficult. Do you need any task? A letter delivered. A letter to your enemy. Really? My goodness, guys. My goodness. Rainies is looking better and better as we go along. I don't have to deal with this crap. I can just marry my sister if I tell her, but I have to kiss up to this lord who dares to hold my brother's name. I'll do it this one time. We'll see what happens. Alright, guys. I'm going to go down to Sunspear. I'm going to deliver this message, and, and we're going to see what happens. And uh, once I do, I'm going to cut right back. See you guys in a second. Well, the one good thing about this mission is I'm getting to kind of see the strength of the armies I may soon be coming up against. But I believe Franklin Fowler is somewhere in here. There he is. Let's go talk to him. I have a message from your enemy. Are you going to Ghost Hill? I believe you are. Let's see if I can get in there. Yes. Quest entry. Go to the Lord's Hall. Let's uh, talk to you guys in this feast. Where, where are you? And Justin Massey? Good sir. What are you doing here? Ah, yes, I know. We can't speak in private now. Hmm. Where is Franklin Fowler? No. No. Ah, there you are, good sir. I have a message from your enemy. Uh-huh. Um, I bring a message from Sir Baylor Hightower. Aha, uh -huh, I see. I got a minor increase from Sir Baylor Hightower. Uh-huh. Very good, very good. All right, so we're going to head back. We're going to see if we can go back and talk to Baylor. I hate saying that. Hey, it feels like I'm talking about my brother, but it's not. Let, let's say uh, talk to Sir Hightower. And then I want to get there. I'll cut right back. See you guys in a second. Rainies has made the weary travel all the way to northern Essos. Uh, to the kingdom of Lorath. And, um, apparently... My name precedes me, the Bright Flame name. Uh, Prince, I have a question for you. Um, do you own a Valerian Steel Dagger? Ah, quite a few indeed. I don't need the whole story, good sir. I just need to know um, if you'd let me buy it from you. 5,000 coins. Very well, here's the gold, good sir. I appreciate it. All right, on to the next gentleman on the list. We have made the long journey down to Volantis, and we're going to see this gentleman over my shoulder here. This Triarch, if I can convince him to sell his Valerian Steel Dagger to me, so, uh, let's talk to him. G good sir, how are you doing? Yes, I'm at your service, my good man. Yes, um, I wonder, do you own a Valerian Steel Dagger? Ah, what noble in Volantis does not? Where were the closest allies of the Freehold, the first daughters of old Valeria, amongst the families living within the Black Walls? Valerian Daggers are plentiful. As the dates upon the palm trees. I use one as a paperweight. Ha! Huh. You use one as a paperweight, good sir. Well, then you have no trouble parting with one. Can I convince uh, you to let me buy one? Um, bah, like a common merchant. Who do you think I am? I am the blood of the dragons. You are, good sir. Uh, how dare you? No, I cannot sell you a dagger. But ah, uh, what kind of man would I be if I was not generous? You can have a dagger from me on one condition. Bring me a bottle of Tyroshi Pear Brandy. I have a thirst, and nothing quenches it like a large goblet of brandy. All right, I will find you a bottle of this Tyroshi Pear Brandy, good sir, and I'll be right back. My goodness, unbelievable. I have returned, sir. I have returned. Yes, yes, here is your damn brandy. Unbelievable. I can't believe you make a princess go all over Essos looking for this damn pear brandy. But but we finally have it. So let's get out of here, guys, and check out the progress we have so far in this quest. All right, we have two Valerian Steel Daggers, two to go. And uh, we know one of these lords is already part of the Seven Kingdoms. So we can get the dagger from him quite quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and talk to this last lord and grab the dagger, guys. And once we have all four daggers, we're going to head back to Cohort and we're going to get this sword forged. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Master Blacksmith, I have returned with the four daggers you have requested. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the deal. Ah, you again, Randy's Bright Flame. I really do not have anything else to tell you about Valerian Steel. 
Good sir, did you not hear me? I have gathered the four daggers. Yes, yes, I, I don't want to hear what you have to say. I have the daggers. Are you ready to construct this sword for me? Ah, yes, these daggers are exquisite indeed. Forged in the fires of the Freehold, but... Forged the new in Kohor? The greatest of the fee free cities? Heir to Old Valeria? The Black Goat will surely appreciate our sacrifice and grant us the good fortune that we may create a blade such as the world has never seen before. Now, while these daggers certainly are Valerian steel, they're not overly large. I can create a blade for you, but I cannot extend the metal or supplant it. You will have to be content with a short sword, but a sword it will certainly be. I can fashion it into whatever shape you desire. Which would that be? I believe my brother would uh, desire a short arming sword. Ah, very well. I shall craft you such a blade. The process is laborious and costly. Ah, now I do not haggle and will name my price once the blade is ready. Return to me shortly and the blade shall be ready for you. Well, I just intercepted him going deeper south into Dorne, accompanying uh, Lord Randall Tarley. Um, uh, let's see. Do you have any more tasks for me? No. Hmm. Well, I'd like to ask you something. How about now? Ugh. This is gonna take some time. Some time indeed. Well, I believe the princess has grown weary of her travels, and she's ready to pick up this Valerian steel blade from the master blacksmith and return home to her brother and the Seven Kingdoms, so uh, let's go ahead into the shop. Oh, what strange magic is this, good sir? What is... Oh my goodness, what did you do? What did you do to forge this blade, sir? <sighs> I won't ask many questions. Ah, Rainy's Bright Flame, a joy stay this. We have made something not often seen since the doom came to Valeria so many years ago. Praise be to the Black Goat, the Harbinger, the Whisper in the Darkness, the Worm that doth came. So is it done, then? It is done. A fine blade it is. Our craft has grown stronger as of late, and the candles are once again burning. The Black Goat certainly has fav favored us in this endeavor. And we, in return, have sacrificed to the most fearsome of gods. Now there's a matter of our payment. We shall require 20,000 gold dragons for this most magnificent weapon. As the process of crafting it is not without its cost, is disagreeable. Considering what I've just seen, and, and, and Rainy must take a sip of her tasty beverage from, from her golden chalice. Uh -huh. It is agreed upon. Very good. If you should ever happen upon more steel, return to us and we will continue our work together and make the secrets of Ovalaria unravel before us. Really? You say you can forge other Valerian steel blades? That is interesting, my good man. Very well. I appreciate the work you have done, good sir. I won't begin to comprehend the mysteries of what goes on in this room, but we may see each other again soon. But guys, I think Rainey's is going to head back to the Seven Kingdoms, head back to King's Landing with this newly forged Valerian steel blade. But don't forget, you guys need to name it. Make sure you leave the best suggestion for a name in the comment section. And I'm sure my older brother, King Darren, will choose the best suggestion in the next episode. Well, we definitely have to visit Baylor's feet. Uh, there's just no way we can pass by it without checking it out. But, but first of all, I need to make sure I go ahead and uh, I have some upgrading to do. So first of all, uh, let's upgrade one of my maesters, Marin. Uh, good sir, let's talk to you about your skills. I believe you are my surgeon. So I think the best course of action, can we give you more intelligence? Will that help us out any? Hmm, I tell you what, let's give you more strength. Give you more iron flesh so we can give you better armor so you can stay in the battle a little bit longer. I think your surgery, first aid... 
that's all pretty good wound treatment that's pretty high as well and then we'll keep pumping some points into crossbow that seems pretty good and then sir richard lick one of my subscriber knights let's talk to you sir about your skills strength 21 iron flesh 7 he is a beast indeed not worried about intelligence or charisma that much trainer at two I tell you what what we're gonna do is we're gonna put you more agility and then put you more some weapon master and then how about so you can wield that axe a little bit better give you some more two-handed weapon awesome and we'll put that last point into pole arms and then finally guys uh, King Darren has also upgraded so we're gonna go ahead and Make sure we upgrade him. So let's see. We've got Strength 16, Agility 12, Intelligence 19, Charisma 12. He's pretty smart. What do we need? More leadership, perhaps? More persuasion? Hmm. Trainer? It's all looking pretty good. Athletics, Shield, Writing. Athletics and Shield. Tough. I think I'm going to put a point into Agility. I want to get this Weapon Master up a little bit more. But in the meantime, let's put another point into Power Strike. Because, you know, my sister's off in Essos trying to get me a Valerian Steel Sword. So we want to make sure that we can use it properly. And let's, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a one-handed weapon. So let's go ahead and put all these points into one-handed weapon and the rest into pole arms. Very good indeed. Let's go to Baylor's Feet. And, uh, let's go to the Village Center and check it out. Ah. Ah, very good indeed. I'm I'm actually very happy I went and checked out this little village. It's pretty cool. It's got this little oasis right here. Let's see if we can ride our horse over to the this little island. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I love it. I tell you what, I think we're going to have a little picnic here with my king's guard, with my subscriber knights. But guys, I want to thank you for joining me. I had an amazing time in this episode. This is the first episode where the small council has kind of led the direction of this series. Now, guys, don't forget to check out akrealm.engine.com. I'm going to make sure my herald, Sir Robin Redwater, uh, leaves a thread in the A Clash of Kings section so you could check out the entire debate that the small council had in deciding the course of action in this episode. Also, guys, don't forget to start thinking of names for our new Valerian Steel Sword because I'm pretty sure my younger sister Rainies has completed her mission and she will be returning soon with this sword, but we need to name it. And that's up to you guys to so go ahead and leave those great suggestions in the comments section below. And if you leave the best suggestion, guys, I'm going to give you a big shout out in the next episode. And of course, we're going to name the sword in the game. Oh, yeah, guys. And if you want to know how to go ahead and mod things in the game, I've also left a link down in the description box below that lets you know how to do that and customize your own warband and a Clash of King experience. Well, guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank all of my subscriber knights, all of my small council for all of the great comments, all of the great suggestions. Guys, you have to check out AK Realm. It's unbelievable. All the bios from all the different characters that have been uh, created in the comments section throughout the two series. All the small council members, all the subscriber knights, plus... King Darren's full bio is also there as well. If you want to find out exactly how old he is, his history, his likes, his dislikes, make sure you check out akrealm.engine.com. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Again, I want to thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on The Clash of Kings, A Throne for Dragons.